welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about an incredible melee only infinite melee titan build. Now I know I made a video talking about how I felt void 3.0 for titans that were kind of scammed a little bit but I feel like that's still kind of true based around their new mechanics like the shield throw and stuff and the barricade that gives you void overshield even though you can build some pretty cool stuff. This one is pretty much a shield bash one hit melee infinite melee build and it was sent to me by someone in my comment section called star soul so thank you very much when i looked at it and i read everything that was involved i thought will this actually work turns out it works out pretty damn well so let's talk about what it is so any weapons you want to have you have it i just go with the funnel web because it's fast killing if for any reason i need to i need to actually kill things when i've not got a charge melee when i'm not in a space where i can run and I have a Parasite for boss damage. That's pretty much all I have. Um, but it's all based in the class. So you can either use Sentinel Shield or Ward of Dawn. Depends on whether you want to keep on moving or you want to stand still. That's pretty much up to you. Also, obviously, Ward of Dawn helps your teammates. Use whatever barricade you want. It, I, I've never used a barricade with this build. If you do, make sure you pick the one you want. Jumps up to you. But you need to change to Shield Bash so that you can have these charged up infinite melees and a vortex grenade because your grenades are going to weaken enemies so i just choose it because of the big area of effect meaning i can kind of burn more people um so also as well discipline is really important on this class i don't have any i have 10 <laughs> but every melee that you get gives you a big chunk of um, grenade energy so it does kind of work out but if you can balance your stats out a little bit i think you probably should and then we have controlled demolition and offensive bulwark now offensive bulwark is primarily for ward of dawn so you can stand in there and get grenade charges etc etc and that's totally up to you if you want to do that however it's also for when you have an overshield now you're going to have constant overshields all the time during this build so you're going to have extended melee range which is obviously really important for your melees um, because you're running around smacking people with melees and then you get more overshield so you're just going to have infinite melees infinite overshield that, that's all it's going to be control demolition hitting a target with avoidability volatile explosion makes them volatile so you're either going to kill them they're going to blow up or you're going to put volatile onto them even when you hit you get your melee back so pretty damn cool also shield bash puts suppression on a target so if you hit like a big major or a big boss you're gonna well not not the big big bosses but you know people with a lot of health you're gonna suppress them too so that's also an extra little benefit which we're gonna make better with a mod and um, the fragments that i use are echo of undermining you avoid grenades weaken targets you lose discipline like i said i've only got 10 but it's important for weakening bigger enemies so you can just run in and slam them in the face with your shield bash Voidability final blows cause targets to explode. So even if they haven't got volatile on them, they're still going to explode. But with this, it's just it's just mayhem. Melee final blows grant grenade energy. That's what I need because I have low discipline. But if you have a high enough discipline, you might want to change this up a little bit. Um, and melee final blows start health regeneration for you and nearby allies. You know, plus 10 resilience and helping out your teammates as well as yourself because you're going to be meleeing a lot. Then we have the mods. Now, if you've got all armors for Void 3.0 and you've got them all set as Void, you're going to have to change a couple of them to Arc um, because some of the perks are only available there. Over here, I'll put Resilience on my Titan because I just want to be able to run in and smack people in the face. I've got Harmonic Siphon for creating orbs of power. That's just if I'm stuck in a place where I can't charge up the melee, I'll put on my funnel web and I'll just rip through and just kill everyone that I can. Grenade Launch Ammo Finder for my Parasite and Elemental Charge. Becoming Charged with Light uh, become charged with light sorry by picking up an elemental well wells are going to be all over the place for this build so you're going to be constantly getting charged with light times two which is very important plus you get energy to all your abilities for a void one when you run void but the arms i have an intellect mod i don't even know why i could probably put that on um, discipline and just add something else in should we just make this on the fly um don't really need class ability <laughs> i mean you could may, maybe one of these mods is probably a good idea for when i have to fight unstoppables um and then we have taking charge become charge of light by picking up orbs of power so you're going to create orbs you're going to collect the orbs and then you're going to be able to stack um charge with light so very useful for what's coming up then we have the chest piece and this is arc for me i've got a resilience mod on and I have heavy handed while charged with light regain half of your melee energy when you used a charged melee ability consuming one stack of charge with light. So every time you have times two and you hit someone you can get half your melee back instantly. But the legs which are also arc we have mobility on them just you know because I just threw mobility on them I could probably put another discipline mod on but I've just got mobility. 
Invigoration reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. You're going to be creating orbs, you're going to be collecting them, getting charged with light, so you might as well get some melee cooldown just in case for any reason it doesn't come back instantly. However, for me, when it hasn't come back instantly, by the time I've ran to charge up a melee, it's pretty much back. So it's very rarely that you're left without a charge melee. And then striking light. While charged with light, defeating combatants with melee damage and sword spawns one orb of power and your allies and consumes one stack of charge with light. So you're creating more orbs as you go and you're slacking people in the face. And you also gain damage resistance against combatants while sprinting. You're going to be running in a lot, a little, running in a lot too. So you get half of your melee back with the other perk and the MK44 standard sides get you the other half back. As you can see, grants an overshield while you're sprinting at full health and you're going to be running at a lot of people anyway. And then when you use shield bash, um, when you hit with these abilities, it recharges a portion of your melee energy. So you don't even need to kill to get half your melee back. And if you've got um, high strength, you're going to get it back no matter what. It's just ridiculous. And for the, the cloak, the, the tire mark, we have melee well maker. So every time a powered melee hits someone, it creates a well. So you're going to be creating wells, you're going to be creating orbs, you're going to be getting charged with light which gives you back your melee instantly. So it's just an intrinsic circle. Like you're constantly going to have infinite melee up and pretty much one hit kill most enemies with it too. It's a lot of fun though to use as well. Um, but I think I broke my controller on the left stick from always running and moving forward. But that's, that's another story for another day. You also want to throw suppressive darkness on because the shield bash has a natural perk to put suppression onto an enemy. This will weaken them also so you can do additional damage so if there is any kind of target that has high health and doesn't die straight away you're going to weaken them and suppress them with your shield bash so they're not even going to be able to attack you then if you wish to you can just put out a shotgun and finish them off or you can just run around and get another charge melee um so yeah that's the build you're going to see it in the background right now on screen to be honest i wish i could get this build together for the throwing shield because i would love to have just unlimited throwing shields but it would be so broken and so overpowered because you can stand back and just keep throwing shields um i do want to use new abilities but however this setup is phenomenal and so much fun as well i had way too much fun using this setup um, and i was actually having a lot of fun with my other titan setup but this one just blows it out of the water so now i'm gonna have to get two sets of armor and set up both of my setups because i don't want to lose this one and have to rebuild it every single time i want to use it because i will be using it a lot while i'm on titan because it's that much fun you just run in melee someone carry on running circle around like a big pillar or something and then just hit another person even things like wizards in the air as well, where you pop up, like you just you, you just do your charge melee on the floor, you just pop up into the sky and hit them. It's amazing. And then you watch them all blow up and blow each other up. And then you suppress targets and weaken them with grenades and, you know, melees. It's just, it's just phenomenal. It's so much fun. And the super's the super, you know, whatever your favorite super is for the Titan, use that too. But because you have constant overshields, then you're getting the benefits of all the aspects and fragments. So you don't even need Ward of Dawn if you just want to use sentinel shield like it's it's just a never-ending cycle of fun unfortunately you won't be using barricades and you won't be using the shield throw as much probably ever if you go if you want to just solely take this build <laughs> um but it's fun i love it let me know what you think down below in the comment section if you have any more builds for any other classes let me know in the comments just say what mods you're using what aspects you're using what fragments you're using and i will put it together and give it a try because this for me is the most fun part of witch queen is just making builds and using different weapons with those builds so yeah thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome